We're here in Indianapolis for the seventh round of the GRC Light Series. So we came in Saturday morning knowing we had practice qualifying in our first heat for the day. So we went into practice and Connor and I had really good pace. We came in in a P2 and P3 for practice. Went into qualifying knowing we had the pace and uh, just needed to put down a clean lap to get that, that time on the board. Came out P5 and P6 for uh, qualifying, which was actually really good. It was uh, set us up for positions one and two going into the first heat. Saturday night we had our first heat of the weekend. I started P1, James started P2. The race went really well, I got a really good start. James got a really good start and we were able to, to run 1-2 the whole entire race and ran a clean race, consistent. Me and James finished first and second, that's a really good push going on to the weekend. Went into heat two on Sunday, started P2 and P4. You know, Connor and I were in the same heat again, so we knew we had to be cautious when we were around each other, and uh, our spotters did a really good job of uh, having us take the joker at different times and try and get us away from each other, but unfortunately with a four car heat, it's really difficult to stay away from each other. So uh, we ended up right next to each other for most of the race and uh, played it really clean on both of our parts, and we ended up P3 and P4, and we were both very happy with that. On Sunday, I started P2 in the semifinal and James started P4. We both were running a really good race and I was right behind Cyril keeping up with him. We had a good car set up and then Pique had hit a tire stack so we had to do a red flag. So we drove back to the start, we did a restart and we, me and James both got a really good start again. I was running behind Cyril through the first turn and he went really wide in turn two which was in the dirt section and I was able to sneak around him. So in the end I finished first and James was able to, to gain a spot and finish third. Connor and I finished the semi-final uh, and that put us in position for P5 and P1 going into the final. Uh, the grid was really stacked up, everything was very close together, so uh, the difference between P1 and P5 wasn't very much and it was all going to be about the start. So we both got very good starts, um, went out there and it was just mayhem the first lap. You know, they put some water down on the track, it was very dusty, very slippy and Alex Keys spun on the first lap going up to the jump and unfortunately put Connor into the wall and gave him a flat tire. So that was kind of the end of the race for Connor and he, he made it a couple more laps and had to pull off. I kept going, I was able to sneak around the drama and, uh, and the mess and uh, slotted into P3. We ran a couple laps, had a, had a driver error and uh, had, a, had a spin, ended up getting it back, uh, back into P4. Um, I was running P4 most of the race. Right as I was trying to go for uh, another position, and Alex Keys came up behind me and just didn't break and just put me right into the wall, which was a really disappointing end. So, you know, it wasn't the finish we expected or hoped for, but we ended up P5 and P6, which uh, we'll walk away with somewhat happy. Um, it gives us some motivation going into next uh, month in Atlantic City, New Jersey, which is a double header, so twice as many opportunities. And Connor and I both know we have the pace. Now we're just gonna put it all together and uh, hopefully get on the podium together.